The upcoming West Tennessee Health Fair promises to be bigger and better than before. All right, well, I messed you up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to offer a variety of free screenings and educational booths. All right, now we got our prompter back on track. A little trade seeker. Good job, Caitlin. This year, though, fairgoers will have the opportunity to see and operate a new piece of surgical equipment that has never left the hospital. Dr. David James explains in this week's Health Watch. I'd like to introduce uh, Leo. This is our Da Vinci robot. Leo, the Da Vinci robot, is a surgical system now being used at Jackson Madison County General Hospital. It's a new form of surgical technology that has many advantages over traditional forms of surgery. One is reduced pain or minimal pain postoperatively. Uh, another is reduced blood loss. Uh, the third is a shorter hospital stay. Many of these patients will go home the next, very next day. The system also minimizes the effect of scarring post-op. Using the system, the surgeon stays seated at a console viewing a 3D image of the surgical field. The surgeon's fingers grasp the master controls below the display. Then the robotic system translates the movements using instruments inside the patient. Another advantage is that the, uh, the robot has a tenfold magnification that allows the surgeon to identify and preserve some of the delicate structures, particularly around the prostate gland, uh, which uh, allows a much better outcome. In addition to prostatectomies, the machine is being used in hysterectomies, hernia repair, and colon resections. We do have future things in mind for the robot, such as thyroid and uh, heart valve and even cabbages. The Da Vinci robot used in the hospital will be on display at the upcoming health fair and fair visitors will get to see and operate the machine. The fair will be held Saturday, September 11th from 8 a.m. to noon at the Carl Perkins Civic Center. For more information about the fair, call 541-4907. For this week's Health Watch, I'm Dr. David James.